given that 54 times 732 is this sort of big number here, find the exact value of the following. Now, because we're told this is true, right, we've given this, we can then use this calculation to determine these numbers here. And you just got to appreciate that 0 0.054 is actually 54 divided by like 100 or, or 1,000. We just have to see how many, um, how many places that those digits have moved across to the right. Or we could think of the decimal point, couldn't we? So if we think about 54, if, we, if it changes to 0 0.054, well, the decimal point is here at the minute, isn't it? So it's moved one place, two places, and three places. That's what the decimal point is now, isn't it? And I'd fill a zero there, wouldn't I? We've got a zero there. So 54 um, has become 0 0.054. The fact is the decimal point then has moved three places um, to, the, to the left, yeah? Now, if the decimal point has moved three places to the left, okay, from changing 54 to this, so you've got to just think about our calculation here, and 54 to become 0 0.054 we've had to move the decimal point three places to the left well we'd have to do the same then to the answer okay because whatever we do to the left hand side we've got to do to the right hand side so the decimal point would move from here one two three so the decimal point would go there so we'd get 39.528 okay that's why changing this to this Effectively, you're making it smaller, aren't you? When you change this to this, making it smaller. So that means the answer must be smaller. However, this has also gone smaller as well. So it's gone from 732 to 73.2. So think about where the decimal point has gone from here to here, yeah? Now it's only moved one place to the left there to get 73.2, which means then with this then, because this is what we've got now after the first bit of calculation change, with this then, we need to move this one place now, so it actually becomes 3.9528, okay? So that would be our final answer, having changed all that. Part B then, right, or well, part two, what I want you to notice here is, is 54 has changed to 0 0.54, so we're gonna do that here, okay? So 54, okay, has changed to um, 0 0.54, so the decimal point has, got, has moved one, two places, hasn't it? To the, to the left, yeah? So move two places to the left, so we end up getting 0 0.54 uh, as is required. Now, if it's moved two places to the left, that means we've got to move the decimal point two places to the left in our answer, okay? However, you'll notice here they haven't done that. So what we do is we compensate. If we are moving decimal point two places to the left here, with regards to 732, we actually move the de decimal point two places to the right, okay? So it's there at the minute, and move two places to the right, and we'll go there, filling these up with zeros. So effectively, then you end up having 0 0.54 times 73200, and that will equal to 39528. So the 39528 has stayed the same, okay? 54 has changed to this by moving the decimal point to the left two places. But to compensate then, we move the decimal point to the right two places with that. And we end up with this. And then quite simply then, all you've got to do is take that 0 0.54 over the other side, which is what they've got, isn't it? They've, they've taken it over because you times it, of course, they've divided it. And that's the answer there, 73200. Okay, so my answer is highlighted there.